an 8-2 Yankee lead over the Nationals. And in the top of the fifth in spring, we get to talk to the Yankee skipper, Aaron Boone. All right, Aaron. First of all, what did you think of Masahiro Tanaka today? Two innings of work in his spring debut. Uh, good. I thought he was overall pretty sharp. Got uh, hung the one split that he, he gave up the homer. Um, but I thought accomplished what he want. Worked in the cutter, threw some good splits, uh, a, a good day's work for him, and, and kind of getting him up to that two innings and uh, onward and upward for Masa. We've heard a lot about the cutter and the implementation of it for Masahiro Tanaka. How do you envision that amplifying his arsenal this season? Well, I mean, if it if if it can become more of a factor for him, um, you know, it just gives him another weapon you know more against left-handed pitching to kind of give him a little bit of a presence inside part of the plate uh and, and should help you know help his split play a little bit better as well to those batters aaron obviously the devastating news yesterday with luis severino that he is going to undergo tommy john surgery tomorrow uh, i mean what was the emotional reaction like of the club when you guys got that news um you know obviously I think your your mind and your heart just goes to Luis and, and what it means to him. And obviously last year missing as much time as he did and kind of fighting his way back and becoming a factor for us down the stretch and in the playoffs and just excited about what was ahead for him this year. So, you know, right now you just kind of hurt for him and, um, you know, you know, know that this is another challenge for him and, and one that hopefully through this adversity um, will be something that makes him just a little bit better when he does come back to us, uh, hopefully at some point next year. But um, just feel for him right now. As a team, we'll, we're equipped to handle this and we'll manage and we'll figure it out and, and it'll create another opportunity uh, for someone else to kick that door in. Yeah, Aaron, you know, it's obviously a transition on your pitching staff, your new pitching coach, Matt Blake. You know, we're hearing a lot of grave reviews from the pitchers so far, you know, and it, how's that gone so far? Anybody else in the offseason you interviewed that you might have been impressed with, too? Um, <laughs> we had a, some broadcaster came in. And, and, uh, no, but Coney was great in the in, in our interview process. It was it was a rigorous process we went through. We, we interviewed a lot of guys, and Coney, by the way, you did you you did great and, and and everyone feels that way about you and, and knows all the things that you bring um, you know just with with who you are and your knowledge of pitching um, but ultimately we did settle on Matt Blake and, um, <laughs> sounds like the right choice to me <laughs> he, he's he's been great um, you know he's got his <clears throat> his understanding of, of, of you know I think the delivery and pitching um, obviously a lot of the new new things that are used in our game from a pitching standpoint he's very up to speed on and understands um but he's 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 really just got a good way about him that he's able to easily connect with people and i think that's really shown up here so far in camp and feel like we're off to a really good start um you know as a result of him you know Aaron, do you see that the, it seems to me like the players are getting more involved with some of the new data and technology, more receptive to it, even some of the veteran guys. Is, is that a good read on my part? Or? Yeah, I think that's kind of the the next, you know, as this continues to evolve, you know, these guys are more and more familiar about, you know, how they're being measured and the tools used. And, and some guys you see more and more incorporating these things on their own in the off season. Um, so there is more of a, no, of a knowledge of it. And it's been interesting to see our guys kind of w amongst each other you know when they're in their when they're in the bullpen and, and you know throwing throwing pens and there's four guys down there they'll kind of communicate with each other what are you seeing and, and they they have an idea of what they're looking at and, and and looking for different things um from some of the informational things that we're able to bring them but that communication between players is happening a lot more than than even a year ago Aaron, we saw Brett Gardner get hit with a pitch in his second plate appearance. Uh, how is he doing? Is there any, you know, is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. Okay. He's fine. He's he's playing his first back-to-back -back tomorrow, so I was just going to go shorter with him, and, you know, just been, with him being a little older, I wanted to get him <laughs> out of the range. No, he's fine. Back to the pitching side of things, what stood out to you thus far about Jordan Montgomery in camp? Velo, first of all, um, the velo that we've consistently seen in all of his sides 
his his live BPs and then his his first game. He's been he's been 92 to 94 consistently. Where you think about him in the past, it's been 89, 90. So we've really seen his fastball play better here in the early going. The changeup and the curveball, which are two really good pitches for him, look the part, and 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 he's sharp with them. But. Um, we're really excited about the way Monty looks. His body's in great shape. He's, um, you know, I feel like potentially taking it, you know, to another level. And I think if his fastball gets the kind of play that it looks like it's getting right now, um, you know, it, that's an exciting prospect for him. Yeah, I mean, I know. He, uh, he was, I think, probably the best rookie pitcher in the American League a couple years back. I mean, if, if you, he stacked up well against uh, almost every other rookie starting pitcher. I mean, would, is he going to be ready for a full workload, or is he going to still require a little protection? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, you know, obviously at some point, if everything's going well, there's probably some level of pullback or protection that he'll need. But, you know, he'll have a chance here out of the gates to just kind of continue to prove himself and show himself. But, you know, you talk about that rookie year he had in 17, Coney. I mean, he was doing that kind of typically pitching around 89, 90 miles an hour, where his now, if we're seeing this true bump in, in velo, um, I think it's. I think it could be even more of a game changer for him to, to really highlight his his outstanding change up the curveball. You know, it's. I know you could probably work around the fifth starter role as you see Jordan Montgomery's numbers there in 2017. Those 29 starts, mm -hmm. solid numbers. I mean, what does a guy like a Debbie Garcia have to do? To, to, to break through. I mean, I know that he's young. He probably needs more time in the minor leagues. Is there a chance that somebody like that can explode on the scene here and change your mind? I think there's always a chance. I think the biggest thing that we want to make sure, you know, because, you know, obviously with Seve going down and, and with Pax not being available to us probably the first month of the season, like we don't want to just force someone here out of out of a short-term need so when you talk about a guy like Davey Garcia and some of our you know other guys not that they can't kick in the door and, and potentially um, impact us very early but we don't want to do it just based on need and, and feel like we're rushing any kind of development that ball is a base hit into left just out of the outstretched arm of Urshela so first and second two out which gives us a little more time with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone Aaron, Miguel Andujar getting his first start in left field today. I mean, how at this moment in time, obviously this is the first time we're seeing him in a game, but I mean, how realistic do you think it's going to be for you to feel comfortable trotting him out into the outfield early in this season? Well, I would say early returns on the work that we've seen um, are really encouraging. So I, I absolutely think it's possible. Um, you know, now it's about doing it in the game and seeing what it looks like and feels like and um, so he's going to get those reps down here as, as much as we can while while also being smart in, in the way that we build them up knowing that he hasn't played in a year so we got to be mindful of that but the early retreat returns of how he's looked out there have been really good and, you know <laughs> yeah that first play of the game where Glaber's you know <laughs> call for it and Maggie came in and rightfully called him off and took charge out there so that was good to see um, but you know, the good thing is maybe he's healthy. He's physically in a really good spot and, and uh, just looking forward to seeing him play and, and, and be healthy and, and hopefully, um, you know, can can prove himself at a couple other positions and give us that option. How about his work around first, Aaron? How's that looked? Good. We haven't seen that in a game yet, but, you know, that's something he's flirted with a little bit in the past and, and been working a lot on, you know, backfields and stuff. So um, we'll get him in there um, at first here again. You know, at some point, probably in the next few days, I think that, uh, his next time out, we'll, we'll have him back in the outfield again. And then, you know, obviously we can't neglect third as well. So we'll continue to move him around, try and be smart with it. Um, but but hopefully it's, you know, he can continue to give us more and more options because obviously his bat's special. VO2 from Tommy Canely is fouled away. Aaron, I know you get asked this on a daily basis, but our fans will always want to know. So what's the latest on Aaron Judge and when we might see him? Yeah, Judge, he's doing good. Um, he's, uh, he's, you know, we're kind of, 
because of the calendar more than anything, taking it slow with him. So we're building him up. He didn't hit today. Today was a day off from, from hitting. He'll hit again tomorrow in the cage and throw. Um, I would say we have the off day Monday. We'll come out of there Tuesday and probably have a good idea that potentially uh, sometime in the middle, later part of next week, he'll he'll probably debut. And looks like he's on track for that. But health-wise, he's doing great. All right, great stuff, Aaron. Thanks for all the time, as always. All right, guys. Good to see you.